Hey guys, Greg with the Gbocker Adventure Chronicles. Thanks for visiting my channel. We are getting ready for another overnight adventure. So please stay tuned. Actually, up at my old trout camp where I always would come up to go trout fishing. <clears throat> and the cool thing with this place is it's pretty much all set up for a nice remote campsite. Got a nice little table over there that I can work on. Uh, got a campfire pit already set up here. Um, I was looking around at the trees up on top, and uh, there's no widow makers here because we're supposed to get some pretty good thunderstorms coming in this afternoon and tonight. And that's going to be interesting because I brought my Ozark Trail yurt tent. And we're going to see if that can withstand with the uh, uh, thunderstorms, rain, and uh, all that type of thing. So that could be interesting. But anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to set the tent up right over here. We got the fire pit over there. So I'm going to put up in this area right, right in this area here. Oh, so anyways, this is the tent that I'm going to use tonight. It is an Ozark Trail uh yurt and this is an eight person yurt uh it's all so that should be kind of interesting i looked at the ratings on it as far as water resiliency and stuff it's not looking too promising but you know what you never know till you try so i'm gonna get that thing set up I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but it is raining pretty good. So, I'm gonna need to get thing, this thing set up like fast. kind of neat because it does have a uh, little collapsible table that you put into the middle that gives you some storage pouches and you actually run the pole through the middle there to there so it gives you a little countertop area inside the middle of the tent. And as you can see this is uh, basically like a big teepee but it does have sides that actually go up so more in the order of a yurt I'll show you a little bit of the inside here's that little center table and there's a nice little cup that you actually put the pole in and then you do have a socket up on top where you put the pole in and the overall height on this inside I would say is about eight eight feet or so so let's get the rest of this tent set up Yeah, these poles hook into this little socket right here. Then they hook into a similar socket where they just actually go in tension in the corner like that. So it has a socket up there. What's in the tent? You have uh, looks like six of these. So let's get them all put in. Yeah. Then the next step is we we'll take the stake and we grab these tension lines right here. We got those all in. And just stake it into the ground. And that makes your uprights. Just like so. And we'll go all around the whole tent that way. And then the next thing we need to do is take these poles here, which support the door, flips that door up. Uh, 
that's the framing in for the door. Right there, goes up and over and around. Okay, here she is, all set up. We'll do a little walk around. Yep. A typical yurt design, except this is made out of nylon versus uh, most yurts or canvas. It's raining <laughs> right now, so I gotta hurry up and get the rest of my stuff in. I got my one tigress cot tonight and a chair to have set up inside here. ultralight backpack and a little kitchenette a little two burner Coleman stove in case I got a cook inside and this little package right here which is basically a whole lot of just cooking stuff paper towels nestling and stuff stuff like that so yeah she's really coming down now so I'm gonna work hard trying to get this all set up in the inside. Okay, get my cot all set up. It's the one tigress cot. So get all this put together here. It's kind of a neat little cot. You can uh, either have it low to the ground if you want, or you can put it higher. That's what it feel like it was low. To the ground. I think I might need that because I don't have a lot of head height here. So I'll probably keep this low to the ground. Hopefully I don't get ripped down tonight. Let's see how that little water pick it is. Oh! Woo! Holy cow. Feels good. Get things set up. You know, I might try putting it up high once and see how it looks. See if it'd be too high. If I do do that, that's where these come in. Leg extenders. We'll put four corner ones in to see how she is. And we'll decide from there. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm gonna put all the legs in. Yeah, that makes for a nice little sitting area too. I just don't want to touch the sides if I can help it. Well guys, a little update. Got everything all set up inside here. Got my little kitchenette there. So you got some chips, got my little two burner stove, some coffee back there. This is my storage, food storage right there. I do have my igloo cooler, my cot, I haven't made the bed yet, I'll do that later on. A little sitting area, and she's, and she's raining pretty darn good, you know what? This thing really isn't leaking yet, but I have noticed like all your seams along here, these are all been seam sealed, so all of the stitchings have been seam sealed all the way around. So Ozark Trail is actually doing that, which is pretty good. I did get a little bit of water in here, but that was I brought it in when we were setting it up because the windows, see the windows don't zip across the top here. So when we had it down, some water did come in while it was folded down. Uh, but there's not water coming in now. And then it's got that little eave along the outside of those windows, so it should do pretty good. So we got three vents up top side, and we have three vents on the side 
to get good ventilation. Plus you do have a screen door here, which I have closed now because I don't want to have the rain come in. Uh, if there's not an eave on that, so the water would come in there. So yeah, so far, no leak. That's a good thing. <laughs> As usual, I did bring some beer, and this time I brought some 16 ounce milk stout by Rochester Mills. So it's a milkshake stout. So I'm gonna have one right now, as a matter of fact. Sounds like the rain is letting up a little bit, so hopefully it does shortly here. Uh, but in the meantime, I got a big enough area in here. I can stay nice and dry. Granted, I can't be outdoors where I'd like to be, but you know what? It's dry in here, and I got plenty of space. Well, the rain has stopped so far. So I'm just gonna sit here, relax, finish up my beer and my milk dud snack. And hopefully it'll dry up enough so I can get a campfire going. Okay, got the fire going, as you can see. Down there. It's a little brighter in the sky, not much, but it is a little bit brighter. So I'm hoping to get this fire going and kind of beat the rain and try to see if I can cook some food up, so. I did a little bit of research on those mushrooms that's in this bag here and those are actually edible they are called chicken of the woods is uh, what they kind of go by so yeah that's an edible mushroom I'm not sure I'm ready to try eating it or anything like that but chicken of the woods an edible fungus okay I got the fire all pretty much set got the fire going. I want to keep it going for a little bit while I heat that pot up too. And it's my Dutch oven and that grill. And if you look inside the Dutch oven, I've got a pizza stone. So hopefully things go good. We're going to try to do pizza. Yep, she's all set up inside. Cot, chair, kitchenette. Food storage. You were like mountaineering or you were out in the wilderness and doing some heavy duty, I mean, really serious type backpacking and camping and stuff. I probably would not recommend the Ozark Trails for anything like that. 
but for just casual tent tenting on the weekends, what the heck, you know? It works fine, you know, for car camping, for that type of camping. Yeah, so far it works really good. Okay, I have all my pizza making stuff all lined up on the table here. So I got a paper plate for eating on with a spoon for spreading the sauce and whatnot. I do have some pre-made pizza crusts, uh, some Mama Mary's pepperoni over there, and then just some pizza sauce and sliced mushrooms, as well as olives, mozzarella cheese, and cooked ham. And then the pepper I'm gonna dice up and we'll put that on the pizza. So I'm gonna start building that pizza. Hopefully the uh, Dutch oven's getting hot enough. That's funny. I'll leave those here just in case. Little eight inch pizzas. It's got some cheese already on it. Spread it out. Take it out to the edges a little bit. So, takes care of that. Some sausage chunks. A little pepperoni. Green pepper. Mushrooms. The black olives. And some cheese. It's right in the pan. Done. Here, take a look at it. It's down in there. And stoke up the fire. Here. Well, the pizza's been in there for a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Looking good. Looking really good. As a matter of fact, I think I might be able to take that one off. Haven't quite figured out how to do that yet though. <laughs> so uh, I'll figure out something. Hey, it looks pretty good. Take it over the table. Cut it up. Try it out. Ooh, she's hot. Small piece here. Yeah, a little burnt in the bottom. Not too bad, though. Here you go. Check that out. Pretty nice. Let me give it a taste. Ooh, hot. 
Oh, it was really good though. Mmm, very good. You know what I need? I need a beer. Ooh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Come on, give me a beer. Cheers, guys. A little milkshake stout to go along with my pepperoni sausage cheese pizza. Mm. I'm gonna sit down and finish this pizza. I'll probably make another one. Oh hell, guys! That one pizza was enough. I only made the one pizza, but now it's time just to sit around the fire. I hear it thundering off in the distance, so I know the rain is coming. So we're just going to sit around the fire while we can. I've already put all the uh, stuff away, so it's all put away now. And then I'm going to sit out here until I have to go in, either because I'm too tired or when the rain starts again. So anyways, cheers, guys. That was awesome. Dutch oven pizza. <laughs> That's really good. good. Where are you going there, fella? Wow, guys, this is nice. It is so peaceful. I guess it's the calm before the storm, <laughs> I suppose. Wow, yeah, this is very, very nice. Just check out this, this canopy that we got here. It is gorgeous. Big old white pine. A lot of oaks. Take a little walk down the street or down the road a little bit, the two track, just to stretch your legs before we actually have to uh, button down in the tent. Just looking at the weather report, it looks like the thunderstorms might not be coming now. At least it's not showing, it's showing rain, but not thunderstorms. But that could change. That would have been fun. I love thunderstorms, <laughs> but, you know, especially in a tent. Uh, but the rain, the rain is nice too when you go to bed and you're sitting there and if you hear the rain pitter-pattering on the, on the tent, that's a cool sound. And there's actually a really nice cabin right down by the bend in the river. So if the weather holds off, maybe we'll sneak one. And then down here is the way we used to always walk to get down to the uh, Pine River. That's where I'm at. I'm right by the Pine River up in uh, just south of Cadillac. Um, so, yeah, we'll take a little walk, enjoy the evening before the rain. Yeah, and right about here, this is actually another camp. Uh, I haven't personally camped at this spot here, but I know quite a few people have. Uh, it's a nice little turnaround right here. Put you on there, you can put a tent up right along there, which is nice. Or you can put it back up over there. That's a nice little spot. There's just something great about the smell of the forest after a rain. It just smells so fresh and clean. Oh, we just have a deer up there. The deer just uh, was sitting in the two track here. Just went off up into the woods. I was just going to mention the fact that it's not that uncommon when we're hiking down here to shake deer up. <laughs> Wish I would have gotten it on camera. Oh well, maybe next time. Nice little brook right here. It meanders up into the woods, and that's where the deer went, up that direction. 
And the same thing on the other side of the road. Heading down toward the pine. Yeah, this is great. Nice and relaxing. I love camping. And this is a good time to thank all my YouTube subscribers. My channel's growing. Slowly but surely, but that's okay. But yeah, I want to thank all you guys from the bottom of my heart for subscribing and watching my videos day in and day out. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoy doing them. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Now normally, I keep on going that way to go trout fishing into the pine, but the cabin's right here. Now, isn't this place just gorgeous? A nice log style cabin. Best part, right here. This is just a gorgeous view of the Pine River as it makes the bend. But yeah, to be sitting on that porch right there and looking at that. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Yeah. So we need to start heading back now before the rain gets here. Thunder's getting a little bit louder. Yeah, she's starting to sprinkle pretty good now. <laughs> so. We gotta kick it in a little bit. Yeah, the thunder's starting to rumble too. <laughs> so I'm a hoofing it. We gotta get get the shelter. <laughs> We're gonna get wet. Oh goodness. I made it back to camp Whew. and it's just sprinkling that's all so anyways we get things buttoned up here and uh, I'll sit outside for a little while longer to the rain cubs maybe have another beer then we'll hunker down inside the tent see how she does during a storm so yeah I love storms especially in a tent they're so much fun Well guys, it is now 9.30 and it's starting to get dark. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit around the little fire here for a little while until the rain starts. The thunder's coming and going a little bit, but it's farther away now. And then uh, I'm going to jump in there and hit the hay. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but it's raining really hard right now. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna crawl in the sack and enjoy the nice restful rainy night. And hopefully I don't get wet. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. Good night everybody. Well, not so lucky. Got a leak right there. Coming from that scene right there. Unfortunately, she leaks. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. I have to deal with it tonight, so. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. 
I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, made it through the night, and it did leak. Mostly the areas that I had the problem were right along, like where these double seams are. It was coming in through there, working its way down and dropping, and also along that eave right there, because there's like a little lip that goes off, and right where that orange strip is right along there, right here, that's where the water was actually working its way in, and you can actually see there's some pooling yet right there yeah and we got some water on the floor there and over here you got a nice little puddle <laughs> and over there so i guess that being the case um might be able to take care of that or a lot of that though by spraying the waterproofing material over top of the tent um there's several brands of it out there that it's actually a waterproofing spray that you put on the tent and that'll probably help that but there again you know for like a weekend or something like that campground if you do anything like that this tent will work fine um if you don't mind a little bit of water dripping in uh when you do have a really heavy downpour because it got pretty thundery and lightning last night so it was raining really 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 good so and this tent's not designed for you know hardcore camping or hardcore backpacking or anything like that this is a weekend warrior type tent so it works good for that um but yeah i had a great sleep i did rearrange it a little bit as you can see my bed is still in the same spot i moved the kitchen from over there to over here and the reason i did that is because where the door vestibule goes out there's a night a lot higher there and then i can get it to where i can actually stand by the stove and cook so all in all i kind of expected some leaking going on uh and there was but not as much as i thought there could have been i mean it could have been a lot worse especially the amount of rain that we got last night it, it rained hard so anyways good morning as far as today goes i think i'm just basically going to pack things up and head home I got some things that some things I got to do at home, so I think we'll just pack up and head home. Uh, we did the walk last night, which is really nice. Uh, beat the rain a little bit, anyways. It wasn't raining too hard by the time I got back, but yeah, this is actually a really pretty area. It's up by just south of Cadillac. Anyways, drink my coffee, and we'll start tearing things down. Ooh, hot, hot. Oh. Hey guys. Breakfast of champions, barbecue potato chips, <laughs> and coffee. Co now time to get things put away. So I'm gonna get things organized. And I'll do a little bit of a um, loadout video or just show you uh, what stuff I did bring for this trip. A lot of it is stuff that I take all the time just because I love it and I use it. But I'll give you another gear uh, loadout video just before I start tearing everything all down so let's get things put away okay guys time for the gear loadout part of the video uh, and this is basically my car camping kit so whenever I do any car camping type uh, camp outs uh, going to the campgrounds or wherever where I'm driving my truck this is pretty much the kit that I take with me whenever I do that so we'll start with my little galley right here so this is just a little Coleman galley tabletop. There's actually an extension that can go on there that you can put the little grill on But being I'm in a little smaller tent. I didn't hook that up. And I do have my Coleman little two burner stove As well as my percolator coffee pots. I love percolated coffee When I'm camping especially if I can percolate it. Uh, I always bring two smart water bottles uh, whenever I go camping uh, and obviously here I've got access to water and whatnot, but I still bring two uh, I do bring uh, little plastic garbage bags and stuff that I can just hang on the galley or on my little kitchen area there. Uh, over here is my 511 uh, tactical rain jacket, which I used last night, and my Helionox camping chair, which I take pretty much everywhere with me. Uh, being again, car camping, I got room in my truck. I brought my igloo cooler uh, to keep everything all cold. 
And then right here, it's a lot of the small stuff. My sleeping clothes, I do have a storage bag, a Carhartt uh, cap that I put on, uh, long sleeve shirt, um, long underwear shirt, basically. And I do have a short sleeve shirt too, as well as uh, always carry an extra pair of wool socks for sleeping in. And then my long john bottoms, which those are a fleece. And right here, that is my Sea to Summit food bag. This is my toilet kit all broke down. I have uh, wipes, uh, my deuce for digging the cat hole, and some toilet tissue, and then the storage bag. Power bank right here. That's the uh, 28 megahertz power bank right there. Uh, Thermocell bugs, because the bugs were definitely out last night, so I fired that thing up before I start setting things up just to clear the bugs away. My ditty bag, which has all my necessities in it. Headlamps, first aid kits, all the other miscellaneous stuff that I take with me. Uh, I did use my Moray knife last night, as well as the sheath, and then there's a saw in there, which I did not use. Right here is my pillows. So I got my storage bag. I got the big blue mountain air pillow, as well as the climate air pillow. I always like to have two pillows when I sleep. And I brought my uh, 3F ultralight gear backpack. I'm getting ready to do a little trip up to uh, North Manitou, uh, Manitou Island. So uh, I wanted to go ultralight. So I got my ultralight backpack with me this time. I do have my quilt, which is right there. And that's a Peoria Outdoors quilt. That's a 15 degree bag. And this right here is my uh, car camping food and storage base of a miscellaneous bag that I take when I go car camping. This will have frying pans, fire extinguisher, uh, coffee cups, paper plates, silverware, all that stuff. I put in that little bag there and take with me. And I did bring my uh, little folding Margaritaville chair, so I had a nice chair to sit in. This is my uh, camp chef. Cast iron pot with my pizza stone that I made my pizzas in last night. So yeah. So yeah, so that pretty much handles everything that I take on a car camping trip. Tents vary depending on which tent I'm using. This time I actually used the Ozark Trail eight man yurt tent. But anyways, time to get things packed up. So we'll you know, get ahead out of here. Well guys, that about does it for this adventure. Yeah, this hot, sweaty, muggy <laughs> adventure. If you like these kinds of videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so I can let you know when I upload new videos. Also, please leave a message in the comments below if there's anything I can do to improve my videos or something that you would like to see. That'd be awesome. But in the meantime, this is Greg with the G-Bocker Adventure Chronicles. I'll see you next week in a new video. Have a great day and happy camping, guys. Bye-bye.